Hello, lovely being. I'd like to tell you about a crane and an eagle. First, the crane. I was speaking to a shop owner last week, and she shared with me a tragic story of two of her relatives driving into a crane. Their death was immediate upon impact of this large piece of machinery. And the interesting thing is that posthumously, the medical people were insistent on doing a COVID test as if the death of those people were in question. I mean, even if they had tested positive Is there any question at all as to what killed them? I'm not sure how the death was noted, but I share the story with you just for your consideration. Why would it even matter if they were COVID positive or not? The crane clearly killed them. But death by a crane doesn't give an incentivized insurance payout. Is that it? And then about the eagle. An eagle's nest is lined with feathers that make it more comfortable to dwell in so that the twigs and the branches aren't poking and sticking the little eaglets. But then the time comes for the eaglet to, or the baby eagle, to leave the nest and fly. And the baby eagle doesn't necessarily want that. The baby eagle likes and prefers the comfort of the feather-lined nest. So the mama eagle starts to slowly remove the feathers from the nest, making it less and less comfortable until eventually the baby eagle realizes that the nest doesn't even feel good. I don't even want to be here now. Look at how thorny this place has become. And then, whether it feels it has a choice to or not, it has to leave the nest and make use of its wings. So, please forgive me if this feels like too big of a stretch, and I certainly don't mean any disrespect to the eagle, but I am comparing COVID to that mama eagle in the sense that COVID is being a catalyst. The way that it's being used, the way that it's being misused by every system, from agriculture to finance to education, technology, mass communication, every realm of human life is being impacted by this quote-unquote pandemic that is so deadly that people even test unquestionable causes of death, that they're even chasing ambulances to beef up their numbers. So this is the thing that has laid itself over all of our life, and it's being misused in ways that cause everybody to pause and question what the heck is going on. And I'm inviting you for just a moment to consider this perspective that while we're chasing down an explanation, we're chasing down reasons, we're trying to make sense out of evil. Evil does not make sense. Evil has to be transmuted and transcended, but it will never be made sensible. When I look at COVID's impact on my life, I realize that it catalyzes me. A catalyst is something that speeds up the reaction. For instance, if our food supply is being tampered with, if our food supply is going to be affected. That then catalyzes a person to explore gardening, to explore feeding themselves, taking responsibility for feeding themselves. If the fiat dollar 
and the banking system is becoming threatened, that catalyzes a person to consider alternative ways of providing for themselves, of creating livelihood, and on and on. All of last year and into this year, we're craving those feathers. We miss the feathers, the comfort of the nest. And of course, it's human nature to seek pleasure and to avoid pain. A lot of natural and wholesome pleasure has been tied off by this evil that we are facing, and it's been replaced with pain. Even in the midst of that pain, what is the helpful perspective to take? Flight. Now, leaving the nest is going to look different for each of us, but all I'm saying is that COVID has removed the feathers. And we can either sit in this thorny nest hoping that some frisbee is going to fly by and save us or some flying object or some other mama eagle. I don't know, whatever the hope is, but keep hoping and perish in that nest or recognize what are these things coming out of my shoulder blades, those wings. Wings are inspired ideas. Wings are resonant relationships. Wings are resources that haven't yet been tested or tried. And now is the time. Now is the time to see yourself as your own hero. That's a perspective of a way to take daily steps that don't keep your eyes focused on an external savior, whether religious or political or extraterrestrial or anyone other than you. So if it makes sense that this is the time to find and use your wings, but you don't know what the next step is, (sighs) breathe easy. I am so grateful and excited to tell you about a very, very special event happening online for free. The website is thegreaterreset.org, January 25th to the 29th. Each of those areas of life that are under threat will be discussed. You will hear from experts in those fields showing up for no reason but to empower you with actionable information on ways that you can fly. TheGreaterReset.org Fly high. Much love.